नमस्कार इन टूडेज ब्लॉक सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लुक ऑन भूत संख्या नंबर सिस्टम वेन यू से नंबर सिस्टम द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट कम्स टू अवर माइंड इज द डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम हाउ अवर इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द वास्ट नॉलेज दैट वॉज प्रवलेंट इन इंडिया वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम प्रवलेंट इन इंडिया दिस इंक्लूड्स द आर्यभटिया नंबर सिस्टम द भूत संख्या नंबर सिस्टम द कड़बयादि नंबर सिस्टम एक्सेट्रा In our today's series, we will have a look on the Buddha Sangya number system. The Buddha Sangya number system has got nothing to do with Buddha, Preta, Pichasu, etc. This is a very simple number system. Let's learn it today. In the Buddha Sangya number system, the number one is represented by Earth. Anything related to Bhumi, Prithvi, Dharti, etc. represents number one. Rupa, the form represents number one. Netra, eyes represent number two. Ears represent number two. Karam, hands represent number two. Rama represent number three. Three guna, gunas represent number three. We know we have got three gunas: the Satvik guna, Rajo guna, and Tamo guna. So gunas represent number three. Vedas, we know we have got four Vedas: Rig, Yajur, Sama, and other one Veda. So Vedas represent number four. Shagara, Samudram, anything related to ocean represent number four. Panjabudam represent number five. Panjaprana, Prana represent number five. Pranan, Apanan, Yanan, Udanan, Samanan. Shara represents number five. Shadritu, Ritu represents number six. We know in a year we have got six Ritus: Hemanta Ritu, Varsha Ritu, etc. So Ritu represents number six. Rasara represent number six. Rishi. We know we have got Sapta Rishis, so Rishis represent number seven. Swaras, we know we have got Sapta Swara, Sari Gama Pada Nisa, so Sapta Swaras, Swaras represent number seven. Ashta Dik, Dik means directions, so directions we have got eight directions: north, south, east, west, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. So directions represent number eight. Nava Graha, Graham, planets represent number nine. Eka Adasha Rudra. We know we have got eleven Rudras, so Rudras, Mahadeva, Shankara, etc. represent number eleven. Vadasha Surya, anything that represents Lord Sun, Surya, Aditya, Bhaskara, Divagara, etc. represents number twelve. Tithi represent number fifteen. Nakshatra represent number twenty-seven. Masa, one Masa has got thirty days, so Masa represents number thirty. Danta, we have got thirty-two teeth, so. Teeth or dentha represents number thirty-two. That's it. Very simple. We have learned the Buddha Sangya number system. How simple it is. Now let's take a practical example of the Buddha Sangya number system. When we learn the pi, we learn that the infinite series of pi was actually discovered by Madhava of Sangamagrama. The Madhava of Sangamagrama was a great mathematician. His followers have very explicitly quoted what Madhava has said. One among them was Shankara Varya. So what Shankara says is like, Madhava has said, Vyase Varuti Nihate, Rupa Hrite, Vyasa Sagara Bhikate, Treshara Adi, Vishma Sanya Bhaktam, Vinam Swam, Pratikramaat Kuryat. So what is Madhava trying to say is like, Vyasa means diameter. Vyasa Varuti Varuti represents ocean. In Buddha Sangya number system, ocean represents number four. Yasa varuti nihate nihate means multiply. So multiply diameter by four. Rupa rute. Rupa means one. Rute means divide. So four d divided by one. Let this be the first value. Now coming to the numerator, again says yasa sagara. So diameter into multiply by four. So four d. But then coming to denominator. For denominator, what is he saying is like three shara adi. Three is number three. Shara is number five. Adi means etc. So three five etc. Rinam swam. Rinam means subtract. Swam means addition. Swam means own. Own means addition. So four d denominator three and five alternatively subtract and add in an orderly fashion. Kramat means orderly fashion. What you will get is like the fine value of the circumference of a circle. 
Let's take for example C is the circumference and D is the diameter. If we substitute above in a formula, what we will get is like C equal to 4D minus 4D by 3 plus 4D by 5 etc. Let's bring the D from the right hand side to the denominator on the left hand side. So what we get is like C by D is equal to 4 minus 4 by 3 plus 4 by 5 etc. We know C by D is pi. So this means pi is equal to 4 minus 4 by 3 plus 4 by 5 etc. Let's bring the common 4 on the right hand side to the denominator on the left hand side. So we get pi by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 etc. This is commonly called as the Grigory Levinas series. If we have not aware of the Bhutasankhya number system, we would have never known that what is Samudra doing in the mathematical equation and we were unable to discover that this pi by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 etc which is the infinite series of pi was actually discovered by Madhava of Sangama Grama even before Gregory and Lebanis were born. That's the vast knowledge of it was prevalent in India. Hope you had an opportunity to learn something new today. We will, we will reconnect again on another interesting blog post. Thanks for watching.